Maven is one of the most popular build tools. It is typically used to manage the dependencies of Java projects and also to build deployable units. In our course, we use Maven to manage our dependencies. The great thing is that Eclipse comes inbuilt with something called Embedded Maven. We will use that in this course. In this video, what we'll do is we'll create a sample Maven project and test it and check if our embedded Maven is working fine. If you have any problems with any of these steps in this specific video, I would recommend you to go to the next video and watch the troubleshooting tips. What will we do in this video? We'll start with creating something called an Eclipse workspace. Then we would create a new Maven project by using something called start.spring.io. And then we would import that project and run it. If you are able to do all these steps successfully, then congratulations. You'd be then having Eclipse, Java and Embedded Maven perfectly installed. Let's get started now. If you double click the Eclipse icon, then you would actually launch up Eclipse and Eclipse would ask you for a workspace. So what I'll do is I'll create a new workspace for this. So I'll call this testing embedded and click OK. I should have actually called it testing embedded Maven. It's OK. What you are seeing is the Eclipse welcome screen. So what I'll do is I'll close this. And now I would go to the website start.spring.io. We have created a new Eclipse workspace. And now I would want to create an example Maven project. How do I create an example Maven project very easily? Actually, there's a website called start.spring.io. So I'll go there. So it's very simple, start.spring.io. The great thing about start.spring.io is it helps you to create Spring projects very easily. It uses a framework called Spring Boot. Spring Boot is one of the most popular Java frameworks to develop microservices, and it, it makes creating microservices and Spring based projects very, very easy. We'll not really dig deep into Spring Boot here. What we want to do is create a simple Maven project. So I'll do, what I'll do is generate a Maven project. That's cool with, I would want to use Java as the language and I would use uh, Spring Boot. You can use any of the 2.00 version. So anything, any version greater than two, that should be fine. And then I would give a group ID of com dot a group ID and artifact ID are like the package name. If you if you are familiar with Java, then group ID is like the package name and artifact is like the class name. So for every project, you need to give something like a package name, something to identify the group it belongs to and what is the name of the project. So what I'll do is I'll call it com in 28 minutes and I'll say Spring Boot and I'll call the artifact as in 28 minutes you can add dependencies. So you can add things that you'd want to use in this project. So I'll use web dependency. So I'll type in web and choose web dependency. And now you can go ahead and click generate project. So it's very simple. Choose Maven project with Java. I want to use Spring Boot version 2.000 snapshot. I'm using a group ID of com in 28 minutes Spring Boot. It doesn't really matter. You can put whatever you'd want in here. And the same in the case of artifact as well and added web as a dependency and I'm clicking generate project. This would create a zip file and download it. What you'd need to do is you need to extract that zip file to some folder of your choice. Once you have extracted the zip file to a folder, we would need to now import that project. How do we import that project? It's very simple. So it's file, import, existing. This is a Maven project. So we are using a Maven project. So you need to select existing Maven project and click next. You can now use browse to browse to the folder where your project is. So whichever folder where you unzip the zip file to, you need to select that from here. I have unzipped the folder to this thing. So in 28 minutes demo. So I selected that folder and you would see that there would be a project which appears in here. That's pretty cool. We are able to now import the Maven projects because the embedded Maven plugin is working fine. Let's go ahead and say finish. If you click finish, you'd see that Maven would start to do a lot of things. You'd see something called importing Maven projects at the downside of the things. Uh, if you have any problems with uh, 
importing the Maven projects, then it means your embedded Maven is not really working fine. I would recommend you to watch the troubleshooting video, which is uh, below this video, to get more tips on how to troubleshoot it. But if your embedded Maven is working fine, then you should not really have a problem. It should go on. And what you should see after a few minutes, this should take a few minutes because it would download a lot of stuff. What you'd see after a few minutes is that it would create a project under which you should see folders like this, source main Java, source main resources, source test Java, and you'd also see a lot of Maven dependencies in here. So once you are able to see this Maven dependencies in here, then it means that your Maven embedded Maven inside Eclipse is working fine. If you really want to be 100% sure, you can also do open up the in 28 minutes demo application, do a right click on it and say run as Java application. This might take a little while, but once it starts up, you'd see now that the application is completely starting up. So this is actually started up a web application. If you are interested, you can actually go ahead and uh, research Spring Boot even more. But the purpose of creating this video was to test whether your embedded Maven is working fine. And based on the evidence of this, it's really working fine. So what you need to do is check if the Maven dependencies are proper. That's once the Maven dependencies are proper, then you are really good to go. What you can also do is uh, run uh, the in 28 minutes demo application as we saw as a Java application and you would see that it launches it fine. Before you close Eclipse, make sure that you kill this server. What we did in this step is we created a simple Spring Boot project by using start.spring.io and we imported into our workspace using the Maven plugin and we used Maven to manage dependencies and we can see it in here as well. If you're not understanding this, that's not a problem at all. There are a lot of things which are difficult for a starting programmer to understand in here, right? So if, if you're a starting programmer, Eclipse, Maven, Spring Boot, a lot of these kind of things might be difficult for you to understand. Don't worry about them. The most important thing is that you got it working. So now that you got it working, you can learn about them very, very quickly. What we'll do in the next steps is if you have any problems until now, we'll try and troubleshoot them in the next video. If you don't really have any problems, then you can skip the troubleshooting video and directly jump into the course. We will help you to learn all that is not clear in this video in detail in later steps. I should congratulate you for being able to install Java Eclipse and also being able to test embedded Maven in Eclipse. Take a break and get back to the course.